Al. Let's get on the show. guys, we had team welcome to Spade Chat. Um, got another exciting episode for you, so uh, without further ado, right now the first uh, four view, view game ratings was, um, they all like had five stars, they all were like the best, like one of the best, rather. not the best, but one of the best. Um, but I realized that I never did like a sucky one or like one that's in the middle somewhere, so I'm going to do a sucky one. Hmm. I can't think of a game that sucks. Hmm. Bunch of games. Hmm. Wait, I got it. Spider-Man, the movie, the game. Alright, now, Spider-Man, the movie, or the game of the movie, the first one, um, when it first came out, it was alright, you know, it was, um, the graphics were awesome, and, well, for its time, and, you know, it was the, the first good 3D Spider-Man game. But now that, uh, now looking back to that game from now, it completely sucks. I mean, it's, like, when you first start playing, you know, um, you just f go around the city uh, as you were in the movie, um, when Peter, um, you know, when he was first started with Spider-Man, but he was in like a wrestling kind of outfit, kind of like some, you just like bought a couple clothes down at Macy's or something, and, um, and so he's, um, so you're flying around trying to catch the guy who killed Uncle Ben, but the, uh, the problem is, Right in, right in the beginning of the uh, game is that when you're outside, when you're doing the outside levels, you can't go down to where all the people and cars are. If you do that, you die. I mean, you should be able to go down there. It's not like you're, you're going to uh, get shot if you go down there. It's retarded. And another thing that's stupid is like, um, it's based up by levels. Like, there's no free roam, really. Like, you can roam, but you have to be in the level to roam. You can't, like, um, you, you can't, uh, do the missions wherever you want. It's, basically, it's, you can, you can get to a level and then start free roaming, and you get to the next level, and you can't go back to the next level unless you, like, exit that level and go through the main menu to that level again. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, if not, it's like, oh, I don't know the best way to explain this, but it, that's probably is the best way to explain it. <laughs> I feel like you guys aren't getting this. Other than that, another problem was that like um, the the move sets were really repetitive. It just seems like the whole entire game was just repeating itself, even though all the levels were different. It's just like, and all, all the villains were different. Every time you fought a guy, it was, it was different each level. But still, it just felt like, no matter what you were doing, you were fighting the same guy over and over again. You were doing the same thing over and over again. Doing the same, like, two hits, two kicks, and two punches, along with some combos they got unlock later on. I don't know, it just seemed really repetitive, and it, I don't know. I got through the game liking it at the time, but now that I go back and play it, it's just really retarded. And I'm so glad that they're up to, they got up to three, because there's you know, three movies. And the third one, they just fixed all those problems. They made it not so repetitive. It's a lot more fun. You can roam. It's not like, it's not based on missions. It's free roam. And then if, when you get, whenever you can want, you can get to a mission. Uh, so basically the missions are based off of a free roam environment, which is awesome. Which is a Spider-Man game should be, you know. 
because that's half the game, half the fun is just roaming around pretending to be Spider-Man, you know, you know, not fighting. But another thing that they put in there was add the fighting, so it's not just in order to fight you have to go to a mission. Um, but yeah, and then I haven't played the new one yet, the new Spider-Man, and I know, I know, like most of the people have, I just haven't got around to it. Um, but yeah, anyways, Spider-Man one. Uh, I'd say it gets about a 1. That game completely sucked. Alright, after a long rant on the first Spider-Man movie game, let's get on to some news. A police chase going 130 miles an hour uh, ended when the guy who was being chased crashed. After he crashed, the guy pleaded to, to the cops to be shot. And uh, after pleading, the cops didn't... Uh, basically denied the plead and decided to stun him instead with stun gun. Now this guy could either be dumb or smart. And, and I guess it depends on views. Like, smart because, you know, instead of facing, you know, uh, a long time in jail or prison, he, he, he wanted to sh uh, get shot and die and not go through all that. But that also could be stupid because the smart thing, another smart thing would do, or to do rather, sorry, is to, you know, is to like no, not beg, and you'll know, go through jail and just get out of it, try and be for, try and be, you know, a good person after, it, or whatever. But you know, it's like an argu I'll go an argument. It's like you know, mm -hmm. some views look more right than others. You know, it's just the whole argument going on. But yeah. Um, the guy faces like a whole bunch of charges and everything, like uh, uh for speed and uh, for resistant arrest. Um, I think he had another guy and a bunch of other stuff. So it's basically up in the news. All right, thanks so much for my show. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching my last episode. Uh, I tried to be really funny in that one, and I'm gonna try to be a lot more funnier, like we're just as funny as the last one. Um, so. Anyway, it's his way of saying, like, Cause I'm broke.